in this video we will talk about how to create survey and how to capture their responses in salesforce so to enable or to create survey we have to enable the survey setting so here i will write on the setup survey and you can see the survey settings when i click on this i can see this toggle button it is disabled when i enable this we can create surveys and send them to participants so i'm going to enable it to create survey here i can see two things select the default community for creating public survey invitation so whenever we uh, send the survey we can send uh, a link to the uh, users who are outside of our organization so for that we have to create a community right now you can see we cannot uh, we don't have any default community so that's why here it is none but if i want to send the survey link for uh, external user i can create a community and add that person in the host community and uh, select the community to uh, send the link then is uh, survey owner can manage responses here allow survey owner to manage participant responses so i have enabled the survey and let's create a survey and test it so on the app launcher i will write survey and here you can see port survey that i have created now i am gonna create a new survey so my survey name would be sales force services i am uh, enabling this checkbox like to create survey as a template then continue here you can see the page and the branding with branding i can adjust the uh, background image i can adjust the opacity i can adjust the blur and here are different type of choices or uh, or to edit the start next and finish button here you can see the next button is for blue color because here the button color is blue you can change it as well so i don't want to change any uh, the color of the buttons i want to change the background image so so this background image i really like and when i go click on pages here i can start to create surveys first is enter welcome message so these are the default one welcome and the thank you page so for welcome page i can write any welcome message i have a list of question and the message that i want to add first is hello and welcome to the ask survey i can uh, make the changes to font as well uh, so for example i want to increase the font so i can increase the font as well i want to uh, bold this message make it bold and this is and you can describe your survey as well i don't want to describe it then this is a next button then i will create a new page so this new page is related to which salesforce product do you like so my question would be for multi selection and i will write my question which salesforce product do you like and i will enter the choice so for example sales cloud so this cloud marketing cloud par dot fsl and you can add n number of choices here so this is my second page and i will write my page name as uh, sales post product then i add another page for uh, ratings so i added the page name would be my uh, the page name would be ratings then i add a question so my question next question is rate your experience with our salesforce services so this question is related to ratings so i will select the option uh, rating this is my question type rating 
and here you can see five stars one is for bad and uh, five is for good and you can change the rating as well then i want to add uh, a logic here you can see the display logic and insert content so for that i will add another add question and it would be a short text so i want to add a logic so for example if a participant uh, give my uh, give my salesforce services rating less than or equal to 3 another question would pop up so for that i will insert a logic so so first i will write a question tell us what didn't go well with our services and you can enter the logic as well so click on display logic here you can select all condition are met so i will select all condition are met question is my rate or experience operator is less than or equal to and uh, like i just told you if it is less than or great uh, less than or equal to 3 then this question would pop up and it is a short text so participant will enter up to 200 characters so this is my third page then i will add another page this is for feedback page and here i click on add question and my question type would be a long text it is please provide your feedback of our services please provide your feedback and i don't want to describe my question here you can uh, enter the answer then uh, this is my thank you page and here i can enter the my thank you message so my thank you message is thank you for taking our survey i don't want in, uh, any additional information then uh, i then this is my survey is created i have put the background image and here are my four type of sorry five type of pages that will show on the survey so i will click on preview to look how my survey is created and when i click on preview you can see this is my first message and as a participant i can see this page and this message hello and welcome to riya survey then my next question is which salesforce product do you like and i uh, had selected multi selection type of question that's why i have selected three options then my next question is rate your experience with our services salesforce services so if you remember i insert a logic if the rating is less than or equal to 3 a question would pop up otherwise it is not so if i click on 2 a question would pop up if i click on 4 question will not pop up so uh, if i give the rating 2 and enter the character then my next is please provide your feedback this is my next question for feedback and this is my last page which is thank you for taking our survey so that's how we can create a survey and you can preview it now to test it and to send uh, the survey to a list of user or to the participant you need to just activate this activate your survey to send it to participant and active survey can't be edited so make sure that you have created a good survey before you activated it so my salesforce survey is activated and uh, now i cannot edit this uh, survey so i will sell, uh, now i can send this survey through a mail and through invitation so first is participant in your company so i will send this link to the internal user of this org and they can uh, click on this link and a survey this page will open up 
and then the next is participant outside your link so this is for the default community that i i talked about who, uh, so for the participant who are outside of this organization so i can send the survey link to them as well so for now i will select on send email so first is survey link and preview is like open survey and here i have two options send to individuals and send to list so right now i will select on send to list send to individual then i click on next here you can see the uh, that you can send as a email and here you have to write the recipient name so for example i want to send to ria rator and this is my feedback here then i click on next and here i have four type of option which is for auto expire uh, don't require authentication anonymous responses and then the unique link so unique link is for to create a unique survey invitation and associate the responder's name with the response record so i will not select any uh, type of this setting then click it's out of the door your email has been sent so so uh, when i click on send email uh, ria rathor would receive an email and this is the email that uh, ria rathor will receive and if i click on open survey it will take me to the survey that we have created and this is hello and welcome to ria survey then which salesforce product do you like because it is a multi selection type of question then the ratings i will give four star if i click on two star uh, a question would pop up like we insert the logic tell us what didn't go well with our services then next enter your feedback your service is really awesome this is my feedback this is my uh, feedback for the salesforce survey and here now a uh, participant just take the survey and you can analyze the response of this survey as well so uh, the last page is thank you for taking our survey so if i open my org and if i click on analyze you can see the complete or in progress response is one you can see the question which salesforce product do you like here we here we we have selected the three option which is marketing cloud sales cloud service cloud then i can see the responses of each question that we have asked and this is my feedback page your service is really awesome so yeah that's how we can create survey in the salesforce and thank you for watching this video